Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class of first aid, we will discuss about first aid in cuts and wounds. This lecture is in English and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on I button and you will get link of Hindi lecture or you can directly visit to channel my student support system. What are cuts and wounds? Wound is defined as a break in the continuity of the tissue. Wounds are divided mainly in five types. These are incised wound, lacerated wound, contused wound, punctured wound and amputation. Okay, now we will discuss them one by one. Incised wound are caused by sharp objects such as knife, shreds of glass, slicing into the skin like this. Depending on the injury, underlying blood vessels can be punctured, leading to significant blood loss. Lacerated wound. A lacerated wound that is produced by tearing of the soft tissue. This type of wound is often irregular and is jacked. A laceration wound is often contaminated with the bacteria and debris from whatever object caused the cut or wound. Contused wound. Contusion are the type of hematoma or any collection of blood outside blood vessels. When there is a blunt trauma, capillaries or blood vessels are injured and blood leaks into the subcutaneous tissue or surrounding area under the skin. Punctured wound. A punctured wound is a forceful injury caused by sharp pointed object that penetrates the skin and tissue. A punctured wound is uh, usually narrower and deeper than a cut. It goes deep into the tissues. Amputation. Traumatic amputation is the loss of a body part, usually a finger, toes, arm or leg. That occur as a a result of an accident or injury, it is normally associated with severe blood loss. What are the symptoms of wound? The most common symptoms of wound are pain, swelling and bleeding. Depending on the location and type of the wound, some wounds will hurt, bleed and swell more than others. It all depends on time. First aid. Place the injured person in comfortable position and reassure him or her. If only bruises are present they, and there is no bleeding, then clean the wound around uh, under the running water to remove dirt and make it clean. Dry it with sterile or clean cloth. If bleeding is continuous, then apply direct pressure over the wound with fingers using a sterile dressing clean non fluffy pad to stop the bleeding. Remove any foreign bodies which are visible and can easily be picked out. Then clean the wound under running water. If there is an object penetrated deep into the wound, do not try to remove the object because it may uh, cause tearing of the blood vessel and a lot of bleeding. Do not disturb any blood clot formed over the wound, otherwise bleeding may start again. If there is an object deep in the wound, apply pressure over the sides of the object to stop bleeding. Elevate the bleeding part above the heart level only if the fracture is not suspected or ruled out. <coughs> when bleeding is stopped, secure the dressing 
with the help of bandage and transport the client to the hospital as early as possible. If there is traumatic amputation of a body part or body part is cut and separated, control blood loss by applying direct pressure and raising the injured part above heart level. Place a sterile dressing or clean pad over the wound and secure it with dressing. Wrap the severed part in the kitchen film or plastic bag. Wrap the package in the gauze, soft fabric and place in a container full of crushed ice. Call ambulance giving detail of the accident. Closely monitor the client as client may have severe bleeding or shock. The patient should be transported to the trauma center along with the amputated part as early as possible so that it can be stitched again. If the casualty has been crushed under the heavy object and you, can, uh, you are not able to move the uh, cause of injury, then leave him in the position. Call ambulance and reassure the client and monitor closely. This is all about first aid in cuts and wounds. You can subscribe the channel so that you can uh, get latest updates notification and you can like Facebook page also. And for making your notes, you can visit mynursingstudents.blogspot.com. All the contents are available here. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and join Facebook group Nursing Notes. Thank you. Have a nice day.